between Uriah Primetime Hall and Chris Weidman. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run a rough shot through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters identical in age. Weidman is two inches tall. Hall will have a one inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 15 wins, five losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Baldwin, New York, presenting the challenger, Chris Weidman. And now. Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a karate fighter, holding a professional record of 17 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Queens, New York, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, you right up. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. So here we go, this highly anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. One guy is known for his diverse attacks on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents. Oh, nice job to prevent the takedown and scramble to his feet.
Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Oh, looks like he's transitioning on bar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jiu-jitsu guys. He's going to attack on bar here. You got to recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you got to move him off, and you got to cover. You can't be off to an angle. Now he falls back into the finishing position. And there it is! Wow! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, so a quick night at the office for him here tonight. He told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. Well, you're going to have to be pretty perfect to get this guy off the throne. There he is, the UFC's undisputed middleweight champion. Complete performance here tonight, and it ends with a win by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Ian Levine is called to stop for this contest at 1 minute, 59 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by submission due to an armbar, and new UFC middleweight champion of the world, Chris Weidman! All right, so how about this result tonight as we congratulate the new UFC middleweight champion? It's a good thing you're not allowed to bet on these fights because uh, I like the champ coming in. If this guy sat across from us and said, I am going to get the job done. That belt is mine. He's only been keeping it warm. Tonight he became the champion.